Hello everyone. Uh, for this problem, we have a skateboarder. Uh, she's going to go up a ramp. The angle of the ramp is 30 degrees and the height of the ramp is one meter. And the initial speed of the skateboarder is seven meters per second. Uh, there is no friction in this problem. So the uh, skateboard wheels will just um, roll up very nicely. And at the top, the skateboarder is going to sail through the air. And the question is, how far from the end of the ramp does the skateboarder touch down? Okay, so in physics problems, you know, we try to separate them into segments. And in each one, we apply the simplest model that we can find. So for this one, we are just going to use the kinematic equations. And we have uh, two segments. The first segment is when the skater is on the ramp and the second segment is when the skater is in the air. And what connects the two segments is that the final velocity of this segment is the initial velocity of the second segment. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is to get the final velocity um, over here, just at the edge. Um, how do we do that? Well, the easiest way to do it is to um, have a velocity that is parallel to the ramp, to the plane. And I guess we're not going to have a velocity that is perpendicular, so we can just like rotate this. Um, if you have your skateboarder here, then gravity is pulling down. This is G, the acceleration due to gravity. And so this is going to look like this situation. So you're going to have a velocity parallel to the plane, and then you have gravity uh, pulling in the other direction. So the final velocity over here should be uh, smaller than this initial velocity. All right, so which equation can we use? I think the easiest one will be, I just want to make sure that I have enough space. I'm going to put it over here. Uh, final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2a delta. Um, I'm going to call it, you know, L for length of this thing. Um, and what is that length? Well, we know that this is one meter, and it is opposite to this uh, angle of 30 degrees. We know that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, and we basically want this hypotenuse. So that hypotenuse is h, the opposite side of this triangle divided by sine of theta, sine of 30 degrees. And the height is one meter. And sine of 30 is 0.5. So that means that L, this hypotenuse, is two meters. So this is two meters. This is the acceleration in the, I'm gonna call it, um, parallel direction, so that stands for parallel. Um, again, this is also initial velocity parallel and final velocity parallel, so over here. And acceleration parallel is going to be, um, this, is, this angle is 30 degrees, and we want the component in this direction. So that is um, acceleration parallel to the plane 
is G sine of 30 degrees. And that's it. So we know the initial velocity is 7 meters per second. The acceleration parallel is G sine 30 degrees. G is 9.8 uh, 9 meters per second squared. Sine of 30 is 0 0.5. So the acceleration parallel is 4.9 meters per second squared. And you can barely see that, but it is there. Uh, I'll put up here, 4.9 meters per second squared. Yep. Um, and delta L is the two meters. So we can basically plug everything in here. And that is going to be Seven meters per second squared. Um, and this is negative. I guess the other way to see it is the sine of 240. So this is negative and negative. So this is negative. Uh, 2 times 4.9 is 9.8 again. And then times two, which is the length. And so we want the square root of this. And so this is going to be 49 meters per second squared um, minus 19.6 meters per second squared. So that is um, going to be 5.4 meters per second. All right. So I have a bad whiteboard and bad eraser. So I'm going to make this video in two sections so that I can erase this properly. So for the next section, what we're going to do is to get the time um, in the vertical direction that it will uh, take the skateboarder to fall. And then we're going to plug in that time into the uh, kinematic equation for the horizontal direction. All right, so give me a second here.